Hello all, welcome to this session. In this session, I'm going to answer software testing interview question 123. That is, what is pair programming? Let me answer. In pair programming, two developers, that is two programmers, will sit together and work together on a single computer machine. It can be a laptop or desktop, okay? These two developers or programmers will work together on a single computer machine while one developer writes the code, okay? While one developer develops the code, the other developer is going to review the code simultaneously. This is what is called as pair programming. Let me give you more details about this pair programming now, okay? So this pair programming is a agile software development technique. It's one of the, okay? You can say that pair programming is one of the agile software development techniques, okay? It has been originated from one of the methodologies of agile, okay? There are several methodologies of agile like Scrum, Kanban and so on, Lean and so on. Whereas extreme programming is one of the agile methodologies and this pair programming agile software development technique has been originated from this methodology of agile known as extreme programming. And uh, as part of this pair programming, equally skilled develop, okay, equally skilled developers will be working together, okay? I, I told you in the beginning, right? There will be two developers or programmers who will be working together on a single computer machine while one will be writing, other will be, other one will be reviewing the code. So these two developers, the one who is writing and the one who is reviewing the code will be generally equally skilled, okay? Then here, there are terminologies involved in this pair programming, guys, because there are two developers, right? One is writing the code, other one is reviewing the code. The one who is writing the code, okay, in this pair programming is known as driver, is called as driver while the other one who is uh, reviewing the code while the code has been typed, while the code is getting typed, the other developer is getting, is reviewing, right? Sitting beside and reviewing the code, right? That particular developer is known as navigator. He's also called as, he or she is also called as observer, okay? So here, two developers later will exchange their roles, okay? It's not always the, this particular developer will be writing the code, okay? The one who is in the role of driver will later change his role as navigator and the one who was actually uh, navigating or observing or reviewing the code will change the uh, the role, okay? The role as driver later, okay? They will be exchanging the role. Driver and navigator will be exchanging the role. These two programmers or developers will be exchanging the role uh, based on the situations and all, okay? These what are the more details about pair programming. And this pair programming falls into the reviews, okay? So it comes under the reviews, okay? There are different type of reviews, guys, okay? There are different type of reviews like walkthroughs, inspections, code reviews, pair programming, and technical reviews. As you can see here, pair programming is one of the type of reviews, okay? One of the type of reviews, but what exactly are the reviews? Generally, this type of reviews, that is walkthroughs, inspections, code reviews, pair programming, technical review, all these type of reviews are performed on documents and code, okay? So documents will be reviewed using this review types, and code also will be reviewed using these different review types. What is the purpose? To find any mistakes or ambiguities. Ambiguities means confusions, okay? to find any mistakes or ambiguities or confusions in these documents or code, the different type of reviews will be performed and pair programming also falls into this review type category and the purpose is same, to find any mistakes or ambiguities in the documents or code. This, So here in this case, code, okay? In this case, pair programming is meant for reviewing the code with an intention of finding any mistakes or ambiguities that is confusions, okay? So hope guys you understood what is pair programming in this session. So that's all for this session. In the next session, I'm going to answer another software testing interview question for you. Till then, see you. Bye-bye.